Hey guys, it's Paige, and today I'm back with another makeup tutorial slash makeup video, or whatever you want to call it. And today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine. So, hey guys, it's Paige, and today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine. And just a disclaimer before we start. Yes, I do use makeup to enhance my appearance most days, and I look forward to it every morning. It's my favorite part of the morning. I don't do it because I feel like I have to. Um, so yeah, that's just the only disclaimer I have. Let's just get into the video. There's really not much to be said. So starting off with a fresh face, I am starting off with a moisturizer. Um, I usually never skip this step because in some of my tutorials I might have, but every day, if I'm not wearing any makeup, I make sure not to skip this step because it gives my skin kind of like a nice healthy glow. So for the first actual makeup product, make sure your hair is out of your face, sorry. Now for the next actual makeup product, the first makeup product, I'm using a concealer. I like to use the Maybelline New York Better S Ugh. Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. And basically, I just put this under my eyes. Sometimes I like to do like it in a triangle. It's a little triangle. Because I do get dark circles quite a bit. So I'll be right back with this blended. Make sure you have it very, very well blended out or else you do not want harsh lines when you're doing your concealer. So now that that is all blended out, um, we can move on to the next step. But just to something out i normally always use my beauty blender because when you tap it into the skin it gives a much more flawless finish than if you were to swipe it with a brush and also the brush takes off much more product. so the next step is obviously for me it's obvious to powder because i do not want my concealer to crease i get a bit on my brush and just put it under my eyes and then for all of my face i like to use like a light hand I don't want to pack as much on. So that's it pretty much for face makeup. Now I think we're going to move on to the eyes. Now I just realized that I normally do my eyes first. But I started off with the face makeup. So yeah. Just if you want to recreate this look, start with the eyes. So yeah, moving on. Um, my favorite step, you know, eyeshadow and clear mascara. So first off, I like to start off by priming my eyes. Um, I don't have an eyeshadow primer. You guys never seen me use one, but I like to use concealer. I just put a little dot on my eyelids and then I blend that out. Okay, so now my eyelids are all primed. Um, I just realized that the light is a bit orange. Um, I will fix that for next video. Now I'm gonna use this big fluffy blending brush for the first color. I'm just gonna kind of wipe off any excess color on my wrist. That's my strategy. Best strategy I've ever heard. Nailed it. So now I like to start the. So the first actual eyeshadow, I like to apply a base coat. I actually use this powder. So technically, technically it's not an eyeshadow. So I just sweep this all over my eyelids up to my brow bone. Now for this next step, to add some dimension to my crease and my eyes, I'm using this light brown color right here and just putting this as a transition shade in my crease. I like to slowly build up color and blend it just higher than my crease so it looks more natural. And keep in mind that I am using a very light hand when I'm applying this. So when that's done, um, I, sorry, I usually don't apply a lid color. Um, I just do an inner corner highlight Sometimes I add a light pink shadow to my um, all over eyelids. Um, sometimes I do a shimmery look, but that's for another video. And then I just blend them all together. It's very light, barely made a difference, but in my eyes it did. Now I just gotta apply my clear mascara. Just one thin little coat. So as you may have noticed, that made a difference. And I also added some to my eyebrows to set them in place for the entire day. Now for the last step, one of my favorites, to top it all off, the lips. So basically I'm just adding a sheer lip balm to moisturize my lips. So this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed. If you want to recreate this, um, 
go right ahead. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye!